Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we are back with another episode of Plague Inc. Involved. Last episode, we unlocked the virus. So now we don't have to play just as the bacteria. This is excellent news. This allows me to keep these episodes spiced up. And in fact, we're going to try and stretch out the excellent news by playing as a virus today and hopefully unlocking the fungus. We're going to if we can just keep on doing it and unlocking all of these uh, plagues in one episode, that would be great. We also unlocked Ionized Helix, which gives us bonus DNA when devolving, which maybe that will work on the virus, maybe it won't. Plus we get bonus DNA at the beginning from the ATP boost of the beginning. Notice this virus here looks a little bit different than the bacteria does. So we're going to have to play on normal again. And the last time we called our virus the shortcut because we were trying to unlock the virus and we su succeeded. Also last time we started in China. And since that worked pretty well, I'm going to call this one Broken China. I don't have anything against China, personally. It just seems to be the right place to start a plague. So again we start in China. Broken China begins in China. Virus disease type. Broken China is a virus. This means they will randomly mutate rapidly and can be hard to control. It causes DNA points to devolve. Important point to take out. Here, here it's showing the bonuses we have. So this screen, this part here, is the same. This part here is the same. This part here is not. DNA becomes unstable, increasing random mutation. So you don't want this originally. But at the end, you're probably going to need the, to use this so that it mutates enough to get to the end. We'll just have to see. Let's start just the same way. I only have one strategy, and it's a strategy that has one, so we will stick to it. I, I don't think there are multiple paths to a victory. Um, Really, I think my strategy is the best strategy and all the other strategies are pretty bad strategies. Um, it's slightly different playing with a different type of plague, so viruses are going to be different than bacteria and such, but it needs for this to actually be plague evolved and be evolved, plague ink evolved for this to be anything other than just the Windows version of a piece of a cell phone game. I think they need to think of some other win conditions. So cysts have shown up. It cost me one DNA. So I just had to pay one DNA to take away that symbol. Unlike bacteria, this is going to become a problem because it's going to get more expensive as time goes on. Eventually we're going to have to give in and just hope it works. But yeah, multiple win conditions would be nice. Um, I don't know what you could do though. How could you do it? Top notch mine opens in Sweden. Miners and crafters looking forward to opening of a new top notch diamond mine, which is expected to revitalize the Swedish economy. So, this is this is a sort of reference to Minecraft, one of my games that I occasionally do spotlights of and play every now and then. Uh, notch was the creator of Minecraft, and miners and crafters, Sweden. His company and him are Swedish. Um, 
but also this is a actual notice that if we had a symptom that targeted rich place rich places Sweden's a rich country I suppose that effect would be increased I think it's probably really important to get the transmission up on this we're getting random DNA too from the virus which is something we didn't really get from the bacteria coughing symptom mutated it will cost me two to devolve it I'm just gonna leave it let's just hope that we're fast enough let's see 12 DNA what I need. So you hear some little kids laughing right there, if you can even hear that. That, that was a sound effect, one of those sound effects that just happens constantly in the cell phone game and they've really lowered the the occasions of it, but they've also made it kind of quieter. So, I think there's still room for a little bit of adjustment there. Also, I think they probably disassociated it from the speed of this, because probably I was hearing it a lot on the cell phone version because I was fast forwarding a lot. So, probably was balanced pretty good if you were playing on normal speed. But very rarely do you need to play on normal speed, unless you're just a new player. New minor disease, they found me out. Sneezing. So you can certainly sit around and just not get any worse and then they won't start working on the cure immediately but I need I need 11 DNA and just turn up that genetic hardening as fast as I can possibly turn it on they've started working on the cure that's exactly what we didn't want. 27 more DNA for genetic hardening. It's not spreading, spreading not fast enough. shuts down the seaports. Let's get the transmission up. There's still countries that have no infected and they found their disease. They're gonna start shutting down all kinds of countries. Broken China placed on a watch list. Next thing I want to do is get 28 here and I hope I can infect the entire world. There's still lots of areas that haven't been infected. 
did it, but I already turned the blue section. Rash mutated. No, New Guinea is infected. New Zealand's infected. Madagascar is infected. Canada, US. So there's some, uh, there's a little bit everywhere. Could be that we're killing people faster than it's spreading. That's always a problem. We'll get, yeah, you can hear a lady crying yeah, in the background. Thirty-four DNA points. Notice we're getting more DNA points than we've had with bacteria. Walking Dead symptom cam. Insomnia and anemia are causing people to walk around gray uh, with tiredness. Scientists are working on the, on the cure are less productive. So you get these combos when you get two symptoms. Unlocked. And there's several of them, and they're pretty funny. Coma symptom, symptom mutated, nice. What to 30% on the Germany begins to break down, that's good. So we do our third genetic reshuffle. We've never had enough DNA to do that. So we need 35 to do total organ failure. Uh, but we will probably mutate most if not all of these uh, symptoms. Particularly if I spend the 15 for viral instability. 1, 2, and I believe there's a 3. First things first though, we want 100% infection rate. So hurry up, Canada. We're looking at you. Hypersensitivity symptom mutated. Mutated and no symptom. Come on, Canada. Most of everybody else is infected. France is taking its, its time to be infected. Caribbean. Immune suppression and symptom mutated. The problem here is if it's not 100% infected by the time it becomes just a super lethal uh, virus, there'll be a few people left. We have 47 million people that are still healthy. Sweating mutated. We're at 55% or so towards the cure. That's not good. We're slowly killing people. Delicate balance here. Do I Am I killing people too fast, or am I killing them too slow? I'm probably killing them too fast. There are no healthy people left in the world. Excellent. So, from this point, we'll bring this up, we'll bring this up, and then we'd need 18 more for viral instability. And we'll just let the rest of these mutate for themselves. So we're looking for 18 more DNA. We've just increased by two tiers the um, rate at which mutations will happen, and we've seen lots of mutations. Pulmonary fibrosis. Sixty-five percent. This probably should enable total organ failure at this point. Vomiting symptom mutated because if I don't enable it they might actually get to the cure before I kill them all. I need to knock the lethality up. 
that would take a lot. Diarrhea symptom mutated. Seventy-one percent on the cure. Seventy-two percent. All of this is this is getting close. Projectile vomiting symptom combo. Coughing and vomiting are causing the infected to vomit. Projectile vomit, increasing the infectivity of broken China. Pulmonary oedema symptom mutated. 75%. Still, over 60% of the labs are active. That's not good. We are a complex virus. A lot more of us moving around, doing stuff. This is what I need, 35 DNA. It's not likely I would get that. Plus, remember, to devolve cost on the virus. So the random chance of mutations here, it can be either this one, this one, this one, or this one. So it's a one in four chance it will be something and I want it to be this one. This one here would be the worst because it doesn't increase the lethality much at all. Uh, this one does increase the lethality but it maxes out the severity. This one hasn't been evolved either, so this one and this one, so it's a one in six chance. If I did involve this one, it would just open a different area up, so it's not worth involving that. 18 points will get me that, though. And I guess that's the only thing I'll have enough DNA for. 77% on the cure. Systematic infection. Which one was that? This right here was the one it chose. And so it opened two more areas, increasing the odds. Lowering my odds of getting the one I want. At almost 80% to the cure now. I'm getting DNA. Good. Thirty-five DNA. Australia is an anarchy. That's good to know. I'm getting tons of DNA. Now I'm killing enough people fast enough. 35. 35 is what I'm looking for. I'm at 25. And it stopped. Uh, what can I do with 25? Uh, I would increase the lethality just a little bit with tumors. This would only cost 26. Hemophilia. Yeah. Or hemoptophilia symptoms. This is actually the second game series where that this word. Uh, no, the other ge word game uses the word called hemoptysis. This is hemophilia. Never mind. And that is this one. Immune system prohibits, produces inhibitors that destroy uh, bile, preventing blood clotting. Basically means if you cut yourself, you'll bleed to death more likely. To. Doesn't look like the cure can work anymore. I've got it down to very few labs. It's estimated time of arrival two day, two years. Looks like I've got this. Looks like I've got this. In infectivity, severity, lethality. It would be nice. Here we go. We'll just we'll just start 
bringing out all these things since I've got some extra DNA. We've won this game. The shortcut keeps on working and this is great. This might mean that this series ends a little bit quicker but that's not really that big of a problem. It's not a real big deal if we do everything in this game pretty fast and move on to another series. But that will be a long time coming still. There's still tons and tons of stuff to do in this game. But yeah, we're, we're saving ourselves a little bit of work by playing on normal and actually working. Next time we won't be playing as Broken China though. I think my limit is, is three countries, um, uh, three times in a row at the same country. Internal hemorrhaging mutated. So we will pick a different country next time. We'll leave poor China alone. Is this internal hemorrhaging? So we don't usually go on this section. The, let's see. Uh, artillery membranes break down causing rapid internal bleeding and death. I don't think it increases the infectivity at all. I think it just increases the severity and the lethal lethality. Then you have hemorrhagic shock, shock which is the loss of blood volume causing oxygen deprivation, loss of consciousness and death. Uh, big old increase in lethality not as good as total organ failure though so this is it's not the best path i would say skin lesions to increase infectivity sure that's fine but i don't think this uh this one's that useful either we'll probably end up killing everybody before we unlock or can look at every single symptom doesn't look like I'm gonna get any more DNA and they're not gonna make any more progress on the cure. It took us a lot longer. We, they got up to 81%. Last time they only got up to like 50%. So it was a little iffy. Oops, symptom combo. Sneezing and diarrhea are causing unwanted accidents. Lowering productivity and drawing attention to broken China. Unwanted accidents. Unlike all the wanted accidents. So I'd like to get eight more DNA. I don't think I'm going to though. There's less than 20 million people on the planet. What they should do as one thought if they want to make this play of more evolved, this game more evolved, because uh, I keep trying to say that and I'm not saying it correctly, uh, is have it so that we could target specific types of animals otherwise. All we are targeting on the planet are humans. What if we could target the oceans and kill all the fish? That would be enough to, to cause the entire ecosystem of the planet to collapse and kill everything. Uh, so you could have a win scenario, kill all the fish, win scenario, kill all the land animals, win scenario, kill all the birds, and come back in here to the transmission things. So here you have birds, here you have livestock, here you have rodents, you have um, insects so you could use all of these and have more paths to eliminate all of these type of things and thus indirectly kill humans because obviously if all our livestock are dead they would starve to death if all the birds were dead then we would probably be overrun by uh, rodents if all the rodents were dead then we'd be probably overrun by disease, well, other disease, I suppose, uh, 
turn it from just a plague to a just apocalypse, as it were, simulator. Um, where there's ways starting with the disease to cause the end of the world indirectly. Um, things that are still realistic for the most part. Some of the scenarios aren't even that realistic. The the Christmas scenario that they released for the cell phone, the Santa's little helper, is is not anywhere realistic at all. But it's fine. I don't have a problem with it. It's just they're already stretching. Broken China has successfully limited eliminated all life on Earth. Victory. Great work. So, we're playing as the virus now. We got 12,000 points. 5,000 more points than I got playing as the bacteria. Um, cure progress went a lot further, so my points should be lower. Difficulty was the same. It was a complex, just the same. It's just virus is harder um, to play as, so... I got more points. Also, it took me about 100 days less to win. So that's great. Great. Shortcut is working. New plague and gene discovered. Uh, this is not how you do it. You never do uh, combined pop-ups. What you want to do is one pop-up says, New plague discovered. And unlocked and then right behind it you have another pop-up and going new gene discovered and unlocked because why not have two things and this is where you wouldn't go yay and have uh, confetti and Christmas crackers going off and all kinds of celebratory sounds not just have a pop-up with no sound really the zero file gene and fungus plague have been discovered and unlocked. So next time we play, we see the new plague discovered again. Repetitive, why'd you tell me on the first screen if you were just gonna tell me again? So this time we play as the fungus. Fungus is one of the hardest that I have played as uh, to spread around. Fungus spores struggle to travel long distances without special effort. And so that's going to be, that's probably not going to win, but we'll try. We'll keep going down this road and seeing if we can get it to work. The following new gene type has been discovered and unlocked. Zero file. So the first one we unlocked was ATB, ATP boost, which is bonus DNA. The second one we unlocked was ionized helix, which is bonus DNA when devolving which wouldn't, didn't help one bit with the virus because it, it cost us DNA. And then the third one we unlocked is zero file. Give your plague a bonus in arid climates. So arid places get a bonus now. Now on this chain, each one of these is a different climate or area so this is uh, humid this is rural this is urban and then this one is the one you really want to unlock this is a small boost in everywhere and use that just get small boost everywhere but that's all for the next episode we've won the shortcut is paying off we're unlocking these things every episode, which is great news. Great news that we didn't get stuck at the beginning and have to play as bacteria over and over again. Don't think for a second, though, that we're not going to go back and play as bacteria. Yeah, we will definitely go back and play as each type of plague several, several times before the end of the series. 
but we're done with this episode. As always, I ask that you like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos because all that helps me out. If you want to fund me, go to my main YouTube page. That's the place where you can also click subscribe, click on my name to get there. Uh, there is a box on the right that says support this channel. Click there, donate. Any amount is appreciated. If you want to follow me on Twitter or Google Plus or Steam or Battle.net, all that information is down below. Uh, please do follow me on those things. That, that helps out a little bit. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.